people say, man, don't change, bro, stay the same. That's ignorant. That's an ignorant way of thinking. If I don't change, I'll be a fool. Man, I'm setting myself up for destruction. If you gotta be somewhere, you gotta have a pistol. You don't need to be there. If you wanna go to penitentiary for the rest of your life for somebody to say you real, no, man. Be loyal to yourself first. And the people that get it, get it, and those who don't, don't. Man, you don't have to be what people want you to be. You got your own brain. I accept failure when success is free. Talk about toxicity. Healed people cannot handle being in a toxic relationship. Healed people cannot handle their peace being up. So if you're in a relationship where there's holes in the wall, there's crying every day, the kids are seeing you guys argue, you're not healed inside. We always want to talk about the other person and point the finger at the other person, but we can't self-reflect. So it just bounces off what she said. It, it, it's all about healing and understand where do you want this relationship to go? Where do you see yourself in five to ten years? Right? Is it crying? I don't give a if it's in a Benz or a, or, or a what? Give me, give me a Honda. It doesn't matter, right? It, it, it's about self-reflection, healing, knowing exactly who you are. So let's say, let's say you went and going to bat, spent going to mad about that. like ten thousand dollars that we had planned for something else. Okay. And I know. Oh yeah, I'll be. Yeah, it's gonna take more than one night. Right. Um, so that's that's what I'm saying. Like, then, yeah, I'll be kind of pissed off too. Like me and my wife were stacking some bread up, and she just want to spend spend it on some beer. But yeah, I'd be kind of pissed off too. Thirty days. I, I think I think it I think it depends on like what we're discussing or what we're arguing about because um, we we both know you're wrong. But <laughs> in my mind, I need to know like what led you to do that. Like what gave you the the author or the confidence to think that that was a good decision. You know, I, I just have to understand because you can't just say you went and spent our money, you know, that we had set aside for something else. Your money, do what you want to do. I don't give a fuck. But our money? Yeah, like we've been like stacking. Yeah. Yeah. Like so. We had like a shared goal. Exactly. And then you just went off track. So I, again, it, it goes back to what the argument is over. Um, and I just don't, it's not always possible to go to bed Result. unbothered. Yeah. yeah. I say um, situations like that I say the same amount of effort and energy that you spent in that action or allegation whatever the reason for that discernment is you need to spend the same amount of energy in that apology so if you spent ten thousand dollars and you probably planned for this oh I see what you're you saying. like and it like, took you a week to plan it's going to take you a week to apologize you know what I'm saying and I think that if we get to that point Plus tax yeah. and interest, and interest, yeah. <laughs> but, like, not but, tax even, and but think about it. You can't. I, I get his point, but how you gonna apologize for a week? Say I'm sorry for some days straight. You know what I'm saying? I think the 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 best way to 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 get out of that situation is to very replace the money. Apology ain't gonna do nothing but kind of throw salt on the wound over and over. Just remind you of it. You know what I'm saying? So at that moment. Yeah, you better find a you better be planning to find a way to get that money back. <laughs> you feel me? You can't MPs, do both. So you got like a <laughs> no, it, it's an fee. administration <laughs> fee, <laughs> <laughs> delivery <laughs> fee, Literally, execution like, fee, upset fee. Like now we you have got me the fucked up fee. The blankets nah, from the yeah. couch fee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fucking fees attached to that. Yeah, that's true though. They telling the truth. But, but if y'all, bro, don't do that, please. Listen to me, don't do that. The generic statements are the worst. Like, men ain't shit. Like, all bitches, da da da. Like, no, <laughs> like, you need to stop Time right on, there. All bitches thing is. No, it's not. It's not. I agree. Think like a, what 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 do men think like? You can't think like a man, Steve. Like it doesn't matter. Like a who like if you're a woman, <laughs> it's impossible for you to think like a man. If you're a man, I mean it's, it's possible. possible. It is possible. It's he possible. gave the whole book. Yo, it's very we read. possible. Is not we could also get the audio book. So you telling me Steve Simp Harvey just know how every man think. Man, get out of here, Tars, when we read the book. If you bought that book, you foolish. I have a book and he there is a movie and he's iffy <laughs> on the man side like, oh wow like he's a little you know what i'm saying like 
Think Like a Man has to come from somebody who is a solid, sound man. <laughs> now, hold on. Was no, he Steve, saying... I'm going to be a Steve bashing. I'm like, I, I like, like Steve. Steve. Logically, like, and this is going to be like a super... They are not like, women. the most not women. When like, he was he saying be logical in the way you're dating? Rico. I don't give a... <laughs> I don't care. First of all. I'll go for Rico. <laughs> um, thanks, Mara. Oh, my God. You're, you're such a traitor. <laughs> Um, but you see, you thinking like a man right there. I'll just. <laughs> so this is what uh, the synopsis Google, is. It's not even a synopsis, but uh, whatever. This is what the internet says. <laughs> men and women have different approaches to relationships. In the book, Steve Harvey argues that men and women often think and act differently in relationships simply because they're wired differently. Men tend to be more logical and practical, while women it. tend to be more emotional and intuitive. I knew it. Okay, Kat, let me did you read oh. the book? That sounds so great. That was great PR work. But it doesn't even work. Yeah, I saw the movie and, and heard the book. But it, it won't work because if you just said it, right, it, it's almost like you already canceled it. If we're wired differently, then we can't think the same. So if you're saying, hey, Men and women are why you're different. That means our signals are not happening the same. That means I can't think like you because the wire that goes here and there and yours that go here and there are not the same. So I can't think like you. So that right there don't make no sense. It's just, just walk and contradict. You know, I don't want to get well, into Well, I, I can, I think. I'm just saying like be logical as a woman. Like, that's annoying. <laughs> it is because... It is annoying. <laughs> I'm not even going to say why, but anyway. Um, I think that... <laughs> I think a l women whose fathers were, like, very, like, instrumental in raising them and, like, teaching them lessons, um, I think are more likely to be thought of as, like, women who think like men You're saying something? my my thing is although i do agree i don't know your dad aaron but if i had to guess he's a cool guy right we have to understand something there's a lot of dudes out here that are not a cool guy so there's a lot of dudes out here that can teach a woman how to think like a man because they don't really even think like a man i agree you know what i'm saying so um when we have men who are, because there are men who are very much non-reactive, but they're very much pushovers and they're non, um, I guess like they don't have the strong boundaries that men typically would have. Mm -hmm. um, when we have men like that trying to give advice to women, which there's a lot of these dudes on podcasts nowadays, and I won't say any names, even though I've been on the name spree. Name names, Rico. No, don't name names. <laughs> you almost got me, Julia. You almost got me. <laughs> so, like, there's a lot of men on the podcast who are who are not really who are not really like who are not really a full on man. And if we had to ask me what is a full on man, it's just a man who can embody all the challenges of the world weigh a lot on his shoulders and still function the same and learn how to dispute uh, distribute that that weight differently to a point where he can still bring ease and peace to his surroundings um so thinking like a man is hard to say when you look at it when it's coming from a man who doesn't even really fully think like a man himself I love mara it depends like everything is situational it's like that's what i'm saying like these generic like things i'm like no i just I'm not buying what you're selling like I think that different, thi like, for all we know, I mean, there's, like, different relationships have, like, if you, a relationship is, like, what you make it, not what it's, like, told to us to be. So, like, maybe for you, like, if a guy cheated on you, well, that's cheating, period. Where it's, like, if you have a relationship where it's, like, set up for you to explore other things then like that's not cheating but to the outsider it would look like cheating does yeah. that make sense yeah okay 100 yeah. wait so, if there's no it's like open relationship there. kind of exactly yeah but like but that. there's what if there is deception though let's yeah, just that, say those hypothetically are terms of agreement from the yeah beginning, what right? is, like it, that's not cheating that's like the terms of agreement but if there's some deception in there that's okay. a little bit different okay right? i get what you're saying yes yes like we agreed me and Mara are not going to be outside of this relationship. And yeah, then you, you do. You so you break the rule. Prancing like a deer. 
in some other woman's lawn. Not prancing. Okay. Is it because you don't guess, love like, Mara you know, anymore? Like, yeah. yeah like, or you why just have it? a high sexual appetite. Well, that's the thing. Okay, We're so driving. going back to the going back, so that was that's what it was, right? What is it, Alan? Uh, if you cheat, just because he cheats doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Yeah, that's a fact because, yeah, usually men will cheat and still love their woman, even if he loves his other woman too. Like, okay, this is See, I was I, only I, talking about cheating. I'm just saying that he level. still now will love. Now you're spreading love. I'm just saying he can still love. Like, <laughs> so you're saying he he's in love, love bitch person. now? So if he cheats, don't cheat, love me. What? But the thing about men is, well, I would say myself. I can't love like two women the same. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. That's just me. I, I don't cheat. You know. That's just not me, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just can't love. Like, if I was to, that's, man, well, I'll forget about that, man. I can't really formulate what I'm trying to say. He doesn't love you? You got, you two top, like, you are emotionally with someone else. You got another, you got another bitch. I got two. Nah, you're out of okay, here. Okay, but so if she her? has but two, why, or if you have two, can she have two? Wait, time out. We're talking about my love. I ain't talking about her love. No. <laughs> but can we no. stay, can we stay on my love? <laughs> Hold on, it's two boyfriends on like right here. We're not, we're not here. talking about my, exactly. my acceptance. <laughs> I'm just talking about my ability to love more than one. You don't have to be monog. I don't think that it's natural to be monogamous if we were to strip everything. However, obviously, like. Monogamy works clearly because that's how America was built. Like, that's how families came. That's how kids were born. That's all of that. So I think that it can work, and I think that it can not work at the same time. I am like a very much believer in gray. You just have to choose what works for you. That's what I'm saying. I hate that fucking thing so much. If I could like take that and put it into an object and just step on it and spit on it and light it on but fire. Is what works for just, you? Was that your bad advice? Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. And then I could just light it on fire and just throw it out and I'd be like, that's what works for you gets you, basura. But what if you want uh, <laughs> to have like a wife and kids and the person that you want doesn't want to get married or have kids? Then. So then you don't date them or but like. Yeah, but like, okay. What I don't want to do is I don't want to utilize what is majority of our natural standards in terms of procreation, which is typically typically the, the idealistic goal with a partner, um, into my preferences. Um, now, if you would were to say, hey, would you want a girl who cooks and clean? And I'm like, nah. I, I don't want a girl that cooks or clean. I she doesn't need to cook and clean. That's a whole different ball game, right? Because now th that's a preference. But like having a kid, I feel like is majority of men's thing, right? Why though? Well, it's because of legacy. Like usually men think ego. legacy. Girl, usually men to think do with ahead. Ego. It's like to, you want to you want your bloodline to live on. She said ego. Like that have nothing to do with ego. Keep like. For example, especially if you go from the history of men. Why do you need to have offspring? You specifically. Me specifically? Yeah, like what is the, le like what, how do you know that your kid's going to carry the same legacy that you have or the same truth that you have? It's not their, it's not their, it's not their purpose to carry the same legacy as me. But my purpose is to set them up in a position where they can carry whatever legacy that they like. But realistically, procreation is really about, in my opinion, procreation is really about just bringing in individuals that's going to help better society. I'm a big humanitarian myself, so like I do. If you a, don't get your ass out of here, <laughs> nah, I'm here for real. what what humanitarian <laughs> efforts do you give to? Well, first of first of all, I can. Well, I mean, but do you do you know what I mean? Now, in all honesty, in all honesty, like I could tell you tens of thousands of dollars that I personally have spent to give back to homeless shelters. And from here all the way to Las Vegas, every single Thanksgiving, I remember I brought out a whole truck on some Frank Lucas and had 500 dinners that I've given out on, on Thanksgiving 
I, and I have and I have a lot of a lot of things that I do and I give back. Like that's my thing. Like I don't believe in certain things. So all in all, like making the world a better place doesn't always have to be a, an action of giving. But if you're giving or action of giving giving some type of physical thing like money, clothes, or food, but knowledge is key. And I really personally believe 99% of people are running around here without any knowledge of what this world really is, was, and how we really, you know, constructed it. Now, my goal is to bring a kid into this world, help enlighten them, and hopefully that they do some type of good to the cause. I don't know and I don't control them, but the goal is to set them up. I think ego is healthy, but the thing is, the it's the, not y'all, not you, not y'all, but it's the <laughs> stigma that they put on ego. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They put this stigma on ego to a point, and I told you already the, the real origin of the etymology of ego is nothing bad, but they made it to something bad. So then that way that if somebody calls you egotistical, if somebody says that you have an ego problem, all, out of nowhere you become somebody who embodies some type of narcissistic ways, you embody self-centeredness, and all of these different negative things. And I'm so Absolutely. big because on work. You, because the thing that happened with ego is because ego became attached to survival. And because as human beings, we are um, wired to survive and your ego is attached to your survival, people started doing whatever they needed <laughs> to do in order to survive. And people were willing to compromise and do whatever they needed to do, whether that was lie, steal, cheat. Get peed on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Get right there. So that me, and, and, and so, and so, so based it, on that, so Miriam. That's what, so when you say, it, like, how did we get lost why ego became such a bad thing is that because once it became like, okay, mm. this is a survival thing and it's attached to that, that's why it became bad. Or well, negative. If, if we or if we ran with that narrative, yeah. Wait, I have one. Can, can I have a thing? I just I, just to circle back. There is like a great what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So one of, she does one of the most right. negative things, and I, I wanted to ask everybody is that you can change the person you're with, mm. right? He's Who says good, that? Nope, he's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> okay. He's still a good man. She ain't trying to change. No, so what I'm just nope, nope. He married, but he's a good man. So <laughs> all right, that was the end of the video, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think. That was actually pretty uh informative, man. Like we uh, that was a good talk, you feel me? We uh, I'm gonna have more videos like that on here for y'all, but hey, be safe out there, Kings. See you guys next video. Let's get it.